One day after accepting the Democratic nomination, Hillary Clinton and running mate Tim Kaine set off on a bus tour of industrial cities. Nancy Cordes is following the campaign. Clinton and Kaine left the warm embrace of their convention today and headed directly into GOP territory. Really neat. Central and western Pennsylvania. We're going to be visiting a few places where people are making things. I find it highly amusing that Donald Trump talks about make America great again. He doesn't make a thing in America except bankruptcies. The economy was a major focus of Clinton's address last night. We will help more people learn a skill or practice a trade and make a good living doing it. We will give small businesses like my dad's a boost, make it easier to get credit. Way too many dreams die in the parking lots of banks. She portrayed Trump as unstable, too easily provoked to lead. Donald Trump can't even handle the rough and tumble of a presidential campaign. A man you can bait with a tweet is not a man we can trust with nuclear weapons. Clinton acknowledged she has her own work to do. I get it that some people just don't know what to make of me. It helps that she's now traveling with a running mate who can talk her up. And if you want to know about trustworthiness and character of somebody in public life, look to see. We trust Hillary. All right, he got to the punchline. He got to the punchline. There is a major update tonight on the investigation into hacked emails at the Democratic National Committee. The FBI is now looking into whether a program used by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee was also hacked. What we still don't know, Scott, Scott was how intrusive this invasion was and whether it can also be tied to the Russians. Nancy Cordes reporting for us. Nancy, thank you.